Hollers, hey, I'm a stunner, 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 summer, been in Hunter, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, sorry for way. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Beauty with Cat. Today, I'm here to give you guys another wig review. This hair is coming from West Kiss Hair. Everything about her will be in my description box below. She is a simple body wig unit. I really, really love this texture on this wig. Make sure you guys are keeping your hot combs or your heating tools at a safe temperature because you do not want to burn through this lace. Now, as y'all can see, I haven't even plucked this yet. So that hairline is pretty decent for it to just, you know, just be what it is straight out the pack. The hairline is definitely, definitely a good, good beginner friendly type of wig. If you don't want to pluck her, you really don't have to, but y'all know me, I am going to pluck this wig some more. Usually I like to pluck, then I like to comb back some of the hair with my hot comb, and then I like to pluck again, and then I like to go back in with my hot comb. You will see throughout this video, throughout this tutorial, that I will be kind of plucking here and there. Again, I'm just going off of how I want this wig hairline to look. I don't have a signature hairline. Mainly, I just go off of how the hairline looks before I start plucking because that actually helps me see how much I need to pluck. So the better the hairline, the less plucking I truly have to do. <laughs> see that I am going to take sections of the hair part it separately from what I'm about to pluck and then just pluck throughout like I said there isn't really a big method to my madness I just go off of sight and I just go off of how I would want my hairline to look for a certain wig I try my hardest not to over pluck because it is <laughs> impossible to reverse. So please be mindful of how much you are plucking. I try my best not to have one side look over plucked than the other.
But this method I actually seen on TikTok, this girl on TikTok actually used either like white liner and she traced um, a easier way to cut off the ear flaps because we tend to mess up during this part. You never want to cut too much off. You don't want to cut too little off where it's just, you know, the lace is sitting on top of your ear. So I ended up just using her method. If you guys know her TikTok, please tag her below. Like, I really feel like this method saved so much time for me. At first, I thought I cut too much off until I put it back on my head and I measured it off. And it was actually a perfect match. I didn't do too much with this wig um of course you can put curls in her you can straighten her but i just want to add just a couple more curls just in the front so no i did not end up curling my whole head because i'm just showing you guys how it looks on my head and kind of just give you an idea of what you know what you would like to do probably of course this video was to show how beautiful this hair was i really do like the quality of this hair west kiss hair never disappoints again i do have that other video with my west kiss hair that i did a review on y'all go make sure y'all go check that out but yeah this hair is really beautiful for it to be a body wave she didn't shed she didn't tangle um of course everything about her will be in my description box below but i really wanted to highlight how i plucked my wigs as well as how I cut my ear flaps off and what method I use with that as well. So I would like to thank West Kiss Hair for sending me this hair to review for you guys. And like always, thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel. I appreciate y'all every single time. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.